When Marnie Was There is quite possibly Studio Ghibli's last film. At least for sure it is their biggest break in filmmaking right now. There is no official word on whether or not Studio Ghibli will ever make a movie again. If you don't know who they are, these guys have produced, hands down, some of the best animated films of all time. We're talking about the studio that Hayao Miyazaki worked out of. We're talking about My Neighbor Totoro, Princess Mononoke, Castle in the Sky, The Wind Rises, Spirited Away, The Tale of the Princess Kaguya. So many great films! And if this really is their last film, I'm devastated because it's one of their best. This film tells the tale of a very introverted girl who has a tough time making friends. She's had a very rough childhood and she's staying with some family friends for the summer and she becomes entranced with this old mansion surrounded by marsh. She keeps finding herself drawn to it. She wants to walk towards it. She wants to sketch it in her notepad. And when she sees the form of a young blonde girl named Marnie in the window, the film starts to present a beautiful mystery, a beautiful friendship, and one of the most heart-wrenching stories I've ever seen in an animated film. This is without a doubt one of the best movies I've seen so far this year. It will be on my best of the year list, I guarantee it. It's one of Studio Ghibli's best, and I'm telling you, it is required viewing if you are a fan of animation. It is so imperative that we support filmmaking like this. A film for children that is mature, that actually explores some of the deepest, darkest emotions that a kid can go through because American entertainment for kids is usually yellow guys who go banana. <laughs> Don't get me wrong there, I actually really enjoy both Despicable Me movies and I would recommend them for kids to have just a good fun time at a party or something, but these films that Studio Ghibli has been making are so important for kids to see and I implore parents out there, if you feel your kid is mature enough for something like this, show this movie to him or her because it really, really can teach them a lot. And one of the things I loved about this movie is that in classic Studio Ghibli fashion, it is extremely mysterious and there's this strange otherworldly supernatural element that's running throughout the movie and you're always trying to figure out what these puzzle pieces mean. Not only is the animation stunningly gorgeous and beautiful, but the story itself is very interesting. It presents a mystery that I, as an adult, sat there with my mouth hanging open most of the time because it's so hard not to be taken by the beauty of this movie movie, not just in its look, but in the messages that its story holds. And I won't spoil anything, but the ending of this movie knocked me flat. It knocked me out. It was stunning. I was so pleased. My eyes were just welling up. It was such a beautiful movie. I implore you guys out there, support this type of kids entertainment, because if I ever have kids, this is exactly the kind of stuff I want them to see, because this doesn't present the world as this shiny, glossy place filled with superheroes. This is a children's movie for families that adults will enjoy and kids will enjoy, but it also presents some of the realities of life that kids need to know about, and it's also a beautiful mystery filled with suspense and tension and character depth and, of course, beautiful hand-drawn animation. Guys, please support When Marnie Was There if you can find it in a theater near you, and I want to thank the Nightlight Theater because these guys brought this to my area, as well as giving me this gigantic thing that I probably can't even fit in this video, but uh, I love it. It's awesome. Thank you guys. I'm imploring you guys, honestly, if this is Studio Ghibli's last film, I will be devastated. These guys are making continuously my favorite animated movies ever. They're so great. Please check this movie out, guys. I have but one flaw with this movie. The only real issue that I have with it is that it is very puzzling from time to time, and that mystery element of the film, while incredibly engrossing every once in a while, gets a little too puzzling for its own good, but once those questions are answered, it's all solved. I'm gonna give When Marnie Was There an A. This is such a great movie, guys. I'm telling you, if you can find it in a theater near you, please go out and see it. If you've never seen a Studio Ghibli film in your life, go look it up on Google, figure out which films they are, see them. They are some of the most beautiful, animated, hand-drawn films ever made. Guys, thank you so much, as always, for watching. I really do appreciate it. And if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.